notary business owners. Y'all know I got into this into 2021. Ebony's Mobile Notary was the first business that I ever owned. 2021 was amazing. Your girl, whoop baby, made a lot of money, right? But business was business. The housing market was the housing market. People was people in 2021. I learned so many lessons. 2022, baby. This was the year, I don't know. I think this is the year to burn or something. Woo! It was complicated. It has been complicated, y'all. It has been crazy, y'all. I wish that you guys could even understand the magnitude of things that I have gone through for 2022. But it didn't do anything but make me stronger, make me better, make me want to continue this journey and to ante up my game, y'all. So last video, it's been about three weeks since I've done a video, a one-on-one -on -one video like this. I think the last time I, I did one was for May when I talked about my May earnings. And that was really when the start of the slowdown for me happened. So um, a lot of us are experiencing it. So if you are a mobile notary, you definitely know where I'm coming from with the interest rates being higher, that the refinances are down and that the notary business, we're booming. We are booming, but we're not hitting those refis. You know, there was a point where I was doing five and six signings every single day, refinances, purchases, sales, HELOCs, all of that. It was easy for me to make five, six hundred dollars in a day. No questions asked. And then everything changed. And I don't even want to say that it changed. I think that we're normalizing in the market. I think that something is going to happen again. And the, the loan closings are going to pick back up. Thank God for continuous marketing that I do. Um, if you follow me in that 757 Notary Sisters group where I really track my journey, you guys know that I am heavy on the marketing. And this is definitely a business that you're going to get out what you put into it, right? I put a lot in. So when I noticed that refinances were slowing down, I had to find out who my next potential client was. So that means I picked it up heavier and general notary. I started to go find those investors. I started to find my own clients. I started to add services, things that we talk about like apostille. Um, I looked um, into becoming a wedding officiant and that's how Boss Events was created. I looked to add services so that I could keep continue to make my money. So I got my little paper here. So for June, and I'm just talking about Ebony's Mobile Notary um, and for loan signings. I only made $3,000 in June in loan signings. And then I made another $3,000 in general notary work. That's all I made for June. In July, I made $4,000 in loan signings and $2,000 in general notary work. So that was still another $6,000 month. I'm used to bringing in between 10 and 12, right? And then in August, Throw August away. Throw the whole damn month away, y'all. Jesus, I traveled. That was my vacation. This is my vacation. I'm not even sure if I made, I think when I looked at that notary gadget, that dang on thing said that I made like 2,700 in loan signings and like $1,000 in general notary work. But I have not been here. Um, I was in California for a week. I was in New York. I was in New Jersey. I really was traveling and I also opened up another business. So before we get to talking about the other business, let's talk about the Mark Wills Loan Signing System Conference, baby. It was in San Diego. Thank you, Mark Wills, for everything that you do. Thank you for providing that space. Thank you, town and country. My stay was great. Um, I had a little fire pit. Maybe we'll show a picture or something. I don't know. I'm not editing this video. Y'all know I can't edit videos. But anyway, yo, to, to know that continue marketing, making that Google business page, continue getting that education for your business, adding those... <laughs>
type of person that we need. This is the work ethics that we expect. And this is what we need you to do. And I'm like, yo, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. I'm doing that. Perfect. When she, we talked about direct marketing, about walking into title companies. So when the title company say, yes, please walk in, y'all better start walking in. Yo, I am getting it. Oh, my dad, I didn't know it was the last day sign up. I am getting it, right? So, loan signing system, thumbs up. Hopefully, I can make it to the NNA next year. It's in Arizona. I've never been to Arizona. I would love to attend. Um, I'm going to be working on that again, like I just shared with y'all my numbers. Your girl can't be spending all willy-nilly. So, going back to that. We had to redo some things because everybody at the end of the day, we all got a household to run because I show sure enough do. This is my little empire. I don't ever come to y'all from the living room. And baby, I'm trying to keep her. You know, it's a little apartment, but she's mine and she's cute, right? So we got to make sure that these numbers make sense. Math got a math, right? So for me, um, I thank God. Thank you to the Commonwealth of Virginia and allowing me to be a nurse because as you know, it don't take nothing. I can walk in anywhere and get a job. That's not a problem. I'm already with an agency. So I was able to fill the gap by picking up nursing shifts. That was one extra source of income. Um, and I want to say that's what I really had to do for July. I think I picked up at least maybe 40 hours that month. So I was maybe doing eight to 10 hours every week. And I know that doesn't sound like a lot. And at my, um, for the agency, I make $40 an hour. Um, and it's at a nursing home. I normally do it at night. Um, today is Monday, the, I think it's the 29th. Yeah, today is Monday, August 29th, and I'm going to work a night shift tonight, actually. I'm actually picking it up heavy because your girl spent a little bit of money in California. So we got to go and put that money back. But um, I pick it up at night, and then, like, I'll come and I'll take a nap or something sometimes on Tuesdays or whatever the next day is. I can hear my phone ring if somebody need a quick general notary. I don't have any signings for tomorrow, so that's what made me make it make sense was going ahead and do it. Um, so... That is was another way for me to pick up some extra sources of income. Um, another way was I opened up a new business, you guys. Um, I got a photo booth. Um, I, it cost about $1,000. Got it from Displays to Go. Um, I'm not linking the thing. Hopefully, you're still here at minute 846. So, um, that's where I got it from. I did everything. Um, I went and got my... Um, I became ordained or a civil celebrant for the Commonwealth of Virginia. That was a process for me. I am not teaching that process. Contact your county clerk's office or go down to the city and ask them what you need to do to become a civil celebrant in your state or in your county, if that's something that you're interested in. So I have the photo booth. I became a wedding officiant. And as you guys, you know me, I always plan events. So I added um, day of coordinating and um, basically an event planner. I can plan your wedding or something like that. And I did everything, rent slather, repeat of my notary business. Um, I structured it, period. I got my LLC. I got a name for it. I got a logo for it. I got an own phone number for it. I got a virtual address. I did everything that I did for my mobile notary business to boss events. And I opened up Boss Events on July 20th. It made $3,000. I've done five table signing weddings. Five table signings. That's just when I go in, they just want to sign their license and they just want to go. I have rented out my photo booth six times. I have three weddings scheduled that are full of ceremonies and i have two more um events scheduled between next september october and then one in november for my photo booth and i've also booked two wedding coordinators one is in october and then one is in november all and i'm just marketing I'm doing the same thing, you know, that I do with my mobile notary business. I'm on some of these free directories. I'm word of mouth. I have always have my business cards. I'm posting on my Google business page. 
So what I'm trying to say is that when things go down in one business, try to pick it up somewhere else, but it's still going to always be a rinse, lather, repeat of the same thing. So even if I wanted today, like I was in the gym working out this morning, I was like, you know what? I should make some workout clothes. I can get me a little e-commerce work. I would do the same thing that I did for my mobile notary business to market that. And I could go for it. I mean, it would be some things that would be different with that. I guess it would be like an e-commerce store, but that would only be if I wanted to. If I wanted to sell... I don't know, some kind of drink, a pre-workout. Yo, I could do that. Use the same method. So whatever it is that you're passionate about, whatever it is that you want to do for your business, do it. That's the best thing that I'm going to say is just do it. Take that, that faith, take that leap of faith and fund your business. Everybody go, how did you fund your business? My mobile notary business funded my, my photo booth wedding officiant business. I take 25% out. If you look at um, some of the videos that I've done, especially the ones with Joy Hunt, uh, the attorney, she says, take 25% out of your earnings and reinvest into your business. So I take out 25%. That's what I did for Ebony's Mobile Notary. Ebony's Mobile Notary didn't need anything. Y'all look at that. I got to get toned. I'm working on y'all. But Ebony's Mobile Notary, it didn't need anything. So I took that 25% and I invested it into Boss Events. If Ebony's Mobile Notary would have needed something, then of course I would have had to put it back into that, but it didn't. Ebony's Mobile Notary has an account for um, expenses and marketing stuff. I have an account for all of that. So that 25%, instead of me spending it willy-nilly on anything, I was like, you know what? I'm going to take this little bit of money here and I'm going to buy maybe my photo prop, a ring light, maybe a, a backdrop, you know, whatever it was that I needed to do for that other business. So that way I can get them to both to run, right? So my big goal, my goal, is to have, you know, I have three businesses. So 757 is technically a business. Unfortunately, what I've learned is that I'm giving away stuff free. Y'all don't like it for free. Y'all like to pay for it. So screw it. We'll just let you pay for it. So um, my goal, my, my goal is for Ebony's Mobile Notary to bring in $3,000 a month. For Boss Events to bring in $2,000 a month. For 757, to bring in $1,000 a month. So that's $6,000 right there. I need another four. Guess what I'm gonna do? Bloop. We can clock in for that. We can clock in for that. That's easy. $40 an hour. I can work two shifts. What is it? I think yes, yeah, two shifts that they're at what? An eight hour shift is $300. Yeah, I can do three, three eight hour shifts is 24 hours in a week. I'm not doing nothing else. I can clock in and do that. And then boom, there go an extra eight, nine hundred dollars every week. And of course I got affiliate links. So there go my 10 y'all. I'm not afraid to clock in. Am I going back to a nine to five where I'm like full blown on 401k every day at nine o'clock? Hell no. You got me so messed up. Don't, don't even want to do these 24 hours a week, to be honest with you. But guess what we got to do? Keep the lights on. Keep the lights on. I'm not offering mentorship right now. So I can't be like, oh, I want 757 to bring me in anymore. Yeah, screw it. Y'all purchase that little stuff out of my little Etsy store. We got the self-paced mentorship. We got little stuff like that. Y'all know I sell little templates. So a thousand dollars yeah and then again like i said i have affiliate links i've been told y'all about the affiliate links y'all better get y'all some um so those work too and we're gonna keep on being great on purpose so hopefully you guys are still doing something for your business i don't want this video to be too long i just wanted to give you guys an update and what's going on with me, what's been happening for June, July, and August, and where we're going for September. We in Q4, y'all. I'm hitting it hard. I'm going to make sure that Ebony's Mobile Notary makes some moves. Um, there are some definitely some new people that I want to connect with. I have some marketing on my end that I need to do. It's crazy that I got a signing today. Um, I actually got three of them. And... Um, the lady, my contact lady that I've been talking to for like a year and a half. All of a sudden, you know, I told her I sent her an email on Sunday. That was the last time I talked to her was on Thursday. I sent the email. They was like, oh, she no longer works here. I was like, oh my God. But 
needless to say they had another contact person because i do have a signing today and um it's like you know when you work direct it ain't like a real time for real so the guy he was like oh i'm off just call me whenever you get the documents so i had like well just shooting that email like hey client said that he was off today so whenever y'all shoot me the documents we'll figure out a place to meet um but my contact gone and i want to be like girl what, what happened but i can't um so hopefully the new person so i gotta kind of change that on my excel sheet and this was a title company i probably was doing about three or four signings for them a month so hopefully then nothing happened on that end and she left on her own accord and maybe she'll reach out to me i don't know but needless to say i'm going to be going hard um for q4 y'all know that um I love, I love owning my own business. I love doing my own thing. I love marching to my own beat. I'm going to continue to do that. Um, I want to help everybody. It was mentally taking a toll on me. Like everybody's stuff was like all on my shoulders because I wanted everybody to win so bad, but I can't want it more than you. A lot of people was like, Ebony, you taking it personal. I'm like, I'm taking it personal because this is your life. I don't want to play with your life, right? If you telling me, I invested into your program. I gave you, you know, and that's the stories that I would hear y'all. They'd be like, yo, I ain't feed my kids. I paid for mentorship. No, don't pay for mentorship. Go feed your damn kids. So, you know, it was like things like that that made me really say, I can't offer mentorship because people are really giving they last. And not to say that you don't have to sacrifice something, but don't have those children hungry because you wanted to come to my mentorship. No. Don't not pay your car payment because you want to join my mentorship. No, I'm no, I'm about being realistic, realistic. And again, this video wasn't supposed to be this long. I'm gonna quit rambling. But anyway, I do want y'all to get out here and do it. I do want you to step out here on faith. I do want you to open up your own business, no matter what it is. Maybe it's not a mobile notary business. Maybe you want to be a photo booth business. Maybe you want to sell eyelashes whatever it is that you want to do write it down get your why get a plan and do it and if it is a mobile notary business i got you i offer the one-on-one -on -one calls i offer them yep all you got to do is book and sometimes if you in the group i give them away for free the one girl i was like yo you ready in one hour i'll send you a zoom link she like oh i'm out to eat with my boyfriend or with oh, okay i said well here go the link you can book one when you're ready so I do offer them for free. I do sometimes, you know, you just got to catch me when I'm not doing anything. So like this morning, nah, it ain't a good day. It's Monday. I got ish to do. And like I said, I just came back from the gym. I need to get my little ass in the shower. Um, like I'm trying to tone up. Um, I've lost a lot of weight. I don't know why though. Everybody's like, what are you doing to lose weight? Probably because I don't eat. I'm always running around like a chicken with my head cut off. But I got all this loose skin and somebody just uh, hit me up and said that today was the last day for me to sign up to be on their trainer thing. So I'm getting ready to go and sign up for that because I want to see if I can get this, this belly at the bottom and these flabs just a little tightened up. Um, Y'all already know I started this because I wanted a BBL. Obviously, I did not get a BBL. My doctor just had another death just last week and I was just like... And I know it ain't the doctor's fault, but I guess that's God saying that, girl, you ain't going under the knife with that man. So that is on that, y'all. Anyway, y'all already know what it is. You know what I offer. You know what I have. You know where I'm going. You know what I'm doing. September Q4, I'm knocking it out the park. My goal is to try to end this quarter with $25,000. We're going to see. I'm, I'm putting in an atmosphere. $25,000 thousand dollars that is what i'm trying to make within all of my businesses all of them from september to december i'm gonna see if i can bring it in and working as a nurse i'm sure i can so so y'all y'all be great on purpose do things with good intentions if you're scared do a damn it scared let's apply pressure for the rest of this year